everybody, welcome back. So today, we're gonna put in this new inverter. This is a uh, Victron Phoenix 375 watt inverter. So we're gonna put this in today and we're gonna redo my whole electrical system. I put it together last time, kind of half-ass, wasn't happy with it. But today, we're gonna rewire everything, put thicker wires in and make it look a little bit more professional. So let's get to work. So this is my system now. It's a mess. It's it's horrible. So this definitely's got to go. Alright everybody, so finally done, took me a couple days, I'm finally done rewiring everything, put a new board up, whole new electrical system for my solar, and my new addition is my 12 volt uh, 375 watt Phoenix inverter. I love this thing. It's big though, but I love it, so let's go check it out. So here's my inverter that I just bought, but I redid this thing little tight in my little Jeep here but just my control panel I added six toggle switches so I got three lights three toggle switches here for three lights I have some on my tailgate and one inside so I have a small light inside and I got two for outside when I'm cooking and then I got a distribution uh, kind of center here so it's two power coming in Power going out right to the battery and that gets goes off to all my uh, other units then I got up here the first is uh, my DC to DC battery charger so I can charge while I'm driving say my inverter and it's my solar controller you got the Victron Victron is the best man it's absolutely worth the extra money so I'm set there and I have my little, uh, um, this is my other little terminal strip here. This is for all my small stuff, my USB ports, my fan, a couple little other, you know, low, low voltage stuff. I have all connected here. So that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, then I got my, uh, this is my power supply for my laptop. So I got that Velcro there. And then I have my assortment of just USB ports all along the side there. So I could power up my, my uh, laptop, not my laptop, my uh, iPhone, iPad, my GoPro, stuff like that. Then I'm a little disorganized here, but underneath my mattress and stuff, I have, oops, I have my battery here. I got two batteries. I got my fuse. So man, I'm good to go. Then with those two, two batteries, they're uh, 115 each watt hours. So I got 230 watt hours of batteries. AGM batteries and then on top of that I got my uh, 200 watt solar panels they're in series with my MPPT controller so just that little bit of power that's more than enough for me keeps my refrigerator going keeps my beer cold I'm happy right, so that was just pretty much basics of my um, simple simple solar system Works great. If you guys have any questions about anything, don't be afraid to comment. I'll get back to you. And so hit the like button. Don't forget to do that. That helps me out. And I'll catch you guys later, probably next week. Don't know what we're going to do yet. And don't forget, never stop listening to rock and roll and never stop walking. And we'll catch you next week. Bye-bye.